In committee, um, I'm going to run through, through quite a few, and apologies in advance if I sound a bit confused. I probably will be. Uh, um, the question about the Ombudsman and the um, Magdalen scheme, our understanding uh, is the Magdalen, they're, they're conducting a review about the procedures we use for assessing cases. So that is, that is not about a particular case, it's about the, the entire procedures. The position in Ireland is that the findings of the Ombudsman are not binding in, in law, uh, but they're normally given very serious weight by the government, so it, it, we, we have to wait to see what happens there. Uh, about Galway Diocese, just to explain, the um, McAleese Committee approached all the dioceses where there was a Magdalen institution in situ and looked at the records for those. Uh, our, the, the department's access was to a particular uh, problem we had with Galway, that there was no registers. For many, for many of the Magdalen Andres, they, the records of who entered and who left were still present. That was not the situation for Galway, there was no records, so we went to great efforts to try and find some records and the best ones we could find for Galway, but that was a kind of a separate exercise. Um, you mentioned the question of whether the Commission of Investigation gags people from making complaints. Uh, you have to, the restriction about the closing, disclosing evidence given to the Commission relates to the actual evidence and the purpose is to stop that, that uh, if the commissions are taking evidence private, they don't want it disclosed until they finish their work and the entire report is published. But that does not prevent a person who has been subject to some abuse from making a complaint to the guards. Uh, they can't go into the guards and say, I told the Commission of Investigation X, Y and Z, but they certainly can go into the guards and say, I was abused. Uh, so it, it should not operate as any way a restriction there. Um, 